Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garden. Uh, this is the first video of the year. Um, we we pushed everything back a little bit this year because last year we, you know, we were so excited at the beginning of the year and we jumped the gun. And I think we put some things in the ground too early and it, uh, I think some things went dormant on us a little bit. So this year we waited and uh, we have some things in the ground already. Uh, we, I've made some improvements. I got some more improvements to make, um, and I'll show you some of those things we did. I added a bunch of raised beds this year, and we're gonna we eliminated some some crops. We added some crops, and um, I have a bunch of stuff in my my indoor greenhouse that is growing, and uh, got some nice seedlings there, and they'll be ready to go in the ground before long. Um, I haven't tilled the big, the main part of the garden yet. I've been working on that. I'm probably gonna do a till today. And, uh, but let's take a look and see what we got going on here and uh, show you what's, what's around the garden and you know what we got looking forward to this year. So let's take a look. So we got, uh, so we got some onions in already. There's, uh, we planted, at, you know, separated. So we planted the first half a couple weeks ago, and then we planted this half just a few days ago. And as you can see right there, we actually missed a potato last year because <laughs> we had our potatoes in this bed last year. And we just said, we'll just leave it. So we planted the onions around it. So there's some onions in there around that one potato. So we just decided to leave it. Got some strawberries here. And we're, we're going to be adding more strawberries to this. And then we added, this was one from last year. Um, I think we had cabbage in this one last year, but this will be something else this year. And that, that's a new one this year. That's a new one. Got another new one there. And a new one here, as you can see all the little helicopters falling off of the uh, tree and the tree. And then we added these also. And this one we have the corn in. So we have the corn in. We're trying corn. We, we don't do well with corn. Um, and I watched, watched a few uh, YouTube gardeners and they, they do uh, corn in a raised bed. And I thought, well, I'm gonna give that a try. I don't do good with corn anyway. So why not give it a try in a raised bed? So I got corn in there. And this one is more likely going to be a Brussels sprout. And then the cabbage is probably going to be in here. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of the helicopters before I plant anything in there. But uh, I got these raised beds from Amazon. And what I did is at the end of last year, I found some I liked and I put them on my watch list. And as the year progressed, they went on sale really cheap. And I waited till they went on sale and bought them. So I got these for a really good deal. And I just, you know, was very patient, waited through the, the off season and uh, was able to pick up some more raised beds to add. So this year we're gonna have a total of 11 raised beds. So as you can see, there's three there. And there's eight there. And then we got the main part of the garden. I've been getting it ready. Got last year's raspberry. This this is going to be the second year for this raspberry bush. So we should get some raspberries this year. Um, and then obviously the main part of our garden, we're going to be, we'll be getting like all of our tomatoes, peppers, green beans are all going to be in here. And then we have our melon patch on the backside, which will be watermelons, uh, pumpkins and all that good stuff so but yeah we're excited this year you know all these new raised beds of and uh, we decided to separate some of the crops out and then we're eliminating a few crops this year so got the tiller out there you can see and this thing is going to be this is our melon patch I got a lot of work to do in here pull up all the weeds I'll be putting I'm gonna be putting some new weed mat down same with the main part of the garden I don't know if you 
you watch any of the old videos, I had rows of weed barrier. Well, this year I'm going to do weed barrier from side to side. So I'm going to weed barrier all the way across. I'm going to give that a shot. I've seen a few people have pretty good success with that. So we're going to give that a shot this year. But pretty neat. We're ex like I said, we're excited. We got a, a bunch of seedlings. I'll put a I'll put a little video clip in here of our seedlings in our greenhouse. But, and as we go along, we'll be, I'll be filming some more videos and sharing with you. Um, one thing I like about these, these raised beds is you can, you don't have to configure them the way that they're sold. So a couple of these were like these ones, these small ones over here were actually three by sixes and I reconfigured them to basically turn them into two three by threes and then I took the rest of the parts and made that long skinny one there for the corn. So you don't have to follow the configuration that they suggest. You can kind of do whatever, you know, create whatever you want out of them and that's kind of what I did and I was able to get these four by four so these are four by four and I made those out of a set that I, I believe they were supposed to be four by eights and I kind of reconfigured them and I ended up with with uh, that and I, I like that better so that way you can especially if you're you know you don't want to plant two crops in one bed you want to keep your crops separated which was what my goal was this year I want to separate the crops I don't want to make you know, I don't want two or three crops in one bed. I wanted to separate them. So, all right, there you go. And then, it's so like I said, I'll add some, a little video of our seedlings in our greenhouse. And there you have it. That is the first video of the year for uh, 2024. Um, Appreciate everybody stopping by the channel and take, uh, taking a look at our garden. Um, it's just something that we, I wanted to sh want to share. And I'm not an expert gardener by any means. We're learning on the fly on a lot of things. Uh, we've had a garden. We've always had a garden for many, many years. And it, in the past, it was just throw it in the ground and whatever we got was what we got. And uh, last year, we really took it a lot you know put a lot more seriousness into it and we we were able to get some really nice crops and um, this year is going to be even better looking forward to it looking forward to sharing uh, the garden with you guys this year I appreciate everybody stopping by the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button and we will see you on the next video thanks for watching